Hello, everyone. Uh, someone asked me to uh, do this uh, ritual, uh, talk about the ritual and the manifestations. Uh, I've never talked about manifestations. And first, I'm going to talk about manifestations, and then I'll tell you the importance of ritual. Because a lot of people don't know uh, the importance of ritual. And I'll get to that later. But if you, the, the key to manifesting is to get in alignment with your manifestation, to participate in that frequency. Whatever direction, whatever you're trying to manifest, you want to uh, uh, start reaching out to individuals like that. You know, you want to start seeing yourself uh, uh, engage in, in conversations and, and uh, you know, per, you know uh, what I'm saying, trying to say, conversations and friendships with them, networking with them. You want to see this, okay? So that's the main thing. Then you want to feel it. The main thing is feel it, you know, is feel your manifestation like it is happening right now and to be in that frequency, you know, whatever it takes for you to stay in that frequency, you need to stay in that frequency, you need to feel it like it's happening now. Uh, what's the other key with it? And the main thing that I do that help me manifest is I uh, have a manifestation I say to myself every night before I go to bed. I look at myself, I convince myself, I hype myself up. Uh, every night by, by uh, certifying that I am a divine being. I am a manifestation powerhouse. I can manifest anything I want to. I attract, you know, the people uh, on my same frequencies that's trying to do the same thing I'm trying to do. I see myself with these people. I, I mean, I see myself as, you know, I'm sending this, this, these thoughts out because I know this energy, I know, I affirm. Every night, this I do this every night, I affirm that my energy, it never goes back a void. And this is scientific. You know, I, I assure my being that every night. I assure my being that. And I psych myself out. It's, it's sort of like a pep rally. It's sort of for the uh, pep rally when you start tapping into your divine self. So y'all start uh, affirming my divine self, uh, affirming my creative potential, that I am this energy that I send out. And I start seeing myself. I start creating these scenarios of seeing myself uh, in these fortunate circumstances that I create for myself. And then I, I also, I don't only send the thoughts out, I, I, I feel myself in that vibration every day. I do something, I do an activity in that vibration every day that keeps me in that frequency. So you want to stay in that frequency. You want to live that frequency. A lot of times we're not manifesting because we're, we're scared to live in that frequency. We're scared to live in our higher selves, you know, you have to get in that frequency. And so I send that out every night for about 10 minutes I do this. I, I, I finish my ritual, what I have wrote down, that, that psyched me out, you know. you know, And I, I remind myself after the ritual, I'm a manifestation powerhouse. It's just sort of like a, a waking, uh, it's, like, it's, like, it, it's like a positive thought process. I just reaffirm myself. I give myself a... a, a, a a reminder of the power being I am, I can create. And so I start living in that manifestation. Not only do I do that, when I see other people that's in the frequency that I'm giving to, like I've seen somebody, uh, you know, they needed some help, you know, they, they needed a donation, you know, kind of what I had going on. So I give, you know what I'm saying? I give, you know what I'm saying? So when I see something or when I see somebody, uh, if I go to a black-owned business or whatever, whatever, I see I can do business, I haven't did it, then I, I'll buy something from them. Just, you know, it don't have to be a, a lot of money. I just buy something because I want that energy. I want that frequency. You know what I'm saying? Mainly because I want to give back, and I know what they're trying to do, so I want to participate in this frequency because I want to feel what they feel. And you know what I'm saying? I want to share that frequency, that energy with them. So uh, I give back. I do business with them, uh, with black-owned businesses. So that's the main thing, too. You want to participate in that frequency if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, the thing with ritual, ritual is important because it helps the complexity of our minds. It helps you bring your manifestation into form, okay? You actually, you, you can actually, you're focusing that attention during that whole time, um, doing this, so you're, it just helps you move that, shift that energy, and bring it into existence and bring it more form. That's what ritual is important for. So that's why our ancestors did ritual. And it connects us with nature. You know, um, and in, in ritual, we can always bring in our ancestors to help us bring things into form, too, as well. 
we have those energies. And so you're working with more directly with your energy and bringing it into form, consciously bringing it into form, reaffirming, you know, reaffirming what you're trying to bring into form. But I did a uh, rice ritual, uh, and I used a green teacup, you know, because I was trying to bring in abundance and a prosperity. Uh, uh, I was trying to bring that in. And I also used um, the incense. I also used money incense. So there's all sorts of uh, money incense they have out there. I have some on my website, uh, www.chemistry.com. You can go there, and I burned them inside the rice cup to attract it, because uh, smells attract uh, energy. Smells is energy. Everything is energy. And when I burned that, I, I, I imagine that abundance and, and, and prosperity, because uh, rice, when you see just a lot of it, I see all that coming coming uh, uh, near me. You know, I see myself attracting it like a I'm vacuuming in all the uh, the fortune and whatever I want, prosperity and abundance I want for myself. So, um, but I also participate in that frequency as well. Okay, I, like I want people doing business, black owned business with me. I do business with them. I give to their cause. When I move to do something, I do I do it. So we have to participate in that frequency too, uh, and you have to feel yourself with it. Uh, so you can do the rice ritual, uh, and I also burned a green candle. I'm a candle burner, and I use uh, some money oil. I have money oil on my website as well. So you can go to www.chemistry.com and 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 uh, use some of the money oil as well on your and it's, it's other oils that you can use too. Um, for it. You can use plain olive oil if you don't want to get the money oil, but I use money oil on mine. Uh, I'm trying to think, you know, um, learn how to anoint your candle, you know. Uh, a lot of y'all are not into this, so it would just, it, do your research on ritual and candle ritual. I want you to do it correctly, because I did it correctly. So, um, I, uh, I lit a green candle. And I made sure I meditated 10 minutes a night, 15 minutes a night, lit that candle. And I meditated every night. Or you, if you just want to uh, let it burn through the night, you just want to watch it burn out through the night, the key with that is as you watch that burn, make sure that you see yourself, you feel yourself um, attracting that abundance in your life as you're watching your candle burn. That's the most important thing. You're bringing it into the existence. You want that energy to be in there, and you want to be feeling that when you anoint your candle as well. You want to have your mind totally focused on what you're trying to manifest while you're setting up your ritual. That's important. You don't need any distractions. That's the focus. Your this energy is not going to go back. It's not going to come back void. And if you're not focusing on it, it's not going to work. That's the main thing. Is is using your mind right now because your mind is the tool that's that's going to help you create. So your focus of your mental energy, when you're putting it out there in the universe, it's not going to come back void. Anything that ever starts is born in the mind first. Okay? When you wanted to buy a car, you thought of it first. And then you start getting an alignment of manifestation, saving that money for that car, and, and the opportunities presented itself, and you got the car. So that's kind of like if we create every day. I know you're saying, oh, that's, that's not, it's the same. It's the same thing. We do it unintentionally. If you pay attention to the synchronicity in your life, you'll understand that we're we're, manifesta we're manifesting all the time, and we're not we're not used to it. It's not that we're not we're not used to it until we get ready to make these big manifestations. And some of, some of us are scared of these big manifestations because we're scared to live in these big manifestations. But you have to live in them. If you want them to manifest, you have to live in them. You have to put yourself out there. You have to feel and live like you're in that manifestation. So that's important. So a lot of the manifests we doing, we don't pay attention to it because they look small. Thing, oh, this is small. They don't make it. They don't make it a difference. Yeah, that makes a difference if you pay attention to your thought process and what comes, uh, what you come in contact with daily. You'll see that you manifest all the time. You might be thinking about somebody and they might call. You know, me and somebody were talking about that earlier. You thinking about something and they they might call. You know. So we do little stuff like that. So that's important too. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think if I think of anybody thing else. Oh, and I wanted to talk 
Some of you are trying to manifest not abundance and you're trying to manifest a partner. I get a lot of people want to know more about that. Uh, the complications with trying to find a partner uh, and that people don't understand, you have to be in alignment with that manifestation. And sometimes we have been hurt in these past relationships in the universe and our God says no, that we have not uh, purged that pain yet. And we don't know how to love ourselves the way we are, you know. We don't know how to just learn how to fall in love with ourselves, you know, and enjoy our own company, you know. And some of us need that before we need to purge these past relationships we have not gotten past before we can put ourselves in alignment for somebody to truly love us and for us to truly love of them. And that's how that things work. That's how things work. And if things are going on in your relationship, there are healing uh, remedies that you can do, you know, sympathetic uh, healing uh, healings that you can do. There's also rituals out there for that. But I leave that up to you for your exploitation. It's for you to explore on your own. You know, that's, that's, it works best that way. I tell people that, that, that want, you know, stuff like that done for them. It works best because your intentions and emotions are very, very strong. And so only you can, uh, you know, I, can, because that, that, that's what makes it work, is your intentions and, and your energy. Uh, so, uh, but it is people that do it. You know, it is people that think they do it. But I don't do it. I believe, you know, that if something like that is happening, you have not met anyone, it's obviously some work you need to do on your, do to yourself, uh, do, do on yourself, and then you'll fi find the right person, because that's, that's kind of what happened to me, I did all the work on myself, we have to do, and we all have work to do on ourselves, because some of us have been damaged, you know, we've been damaged, and we know we're not going to be doing anybody any good right now if we get somebody, and we know that, but we want somebody anyway, because we're lonely. You know, but if we look outside ourselves, we'll know that, you know, you really, you need to do some work in, in these particular areas. And all of us do, you know, uh, when it comes to these relationships. You know, I'm just going to tell the truth on that. But I hope this video uh, helped you. I hope it um, informed you. Um, but it's that easy to manifest, people. It is not that hard. I meditate 10 nights. Uh, I, I meditate. Uh, I meditate 10 minutes a night, uh, and I always keep a charm or something with me that it keep, remind me of my manifestation and keep me in that vibration, keep me in them high vibrations, whether it's a, it can be a ring, it can be a, a crystal, it can be any kind of charm you want to use that you can touch once your mind starts drifting or going, you know, away from your frequency, you know, that's going to going to you know, away from the frequency that you're trying to do, and you can, you can, you can have a ring or something. You can touch it where you can start feeling that manifestation, bringing yourself back into that frequency. And uh, and it, I, I, you know, you have to line yourself up with it. If people is not letting you tap into your frequency. If the people around you is disturbing you from your frequency. You need to uh, uh, cut yourself off from them because you need to focus on your manifestation. If they are distracting you from your manifestation and, and your focus. And uh, you're not trying to stay in that frequency. You need to separate yourself from them. That's simple. You know, some of our stuff ain't manifested because we're around the wrong frequency as well. It's that's, that's, that's just like on a radio station. You know what I'm saying? You got all this different, you know what I'm saying, how you, you're trying to get in the station, but it ain't quite coming in. But it's because there's other stuff around it, you know what I'm saying, that's messing up your frequency. Sometimes we have to get away. And that's what I had to do, too. People that was on my frequency or whatever, uh, I cut them off. I cut them out just that simple. If you're not on my frequency, you know what I'm saying, what I'm trying to do, don't tell me that my dream is too big, that it's impossible or anything. I don't mess with people like that. I don't mess with people, I don't mess with people like that. I don't mess with people that put limits uh, on my manifestation. I don't, me I don't mess with people like that. I do not. I do not. Because they, just because you have limited uh, your God-given ability, you're not going to limit mine. Because now when... Now, you know, I, I don't know. I just look at it like this. Now that I know you limited, uh, when I had this conversation with you, I'm always going to have this conversation like you limited who, the, uh, the being that I am. And I'm a limitless being. You know, so let me remove myself. I want to be around you as less as possible. You know what I'm saying? I love you from over there. I love you, but I just, 
I don't need to be around that frequency because it's it's not, it's it's clashing with what I'm trying to do. So some of us got to be that simple with people. You have to re move yourself. If people are not on your frequency, you need to get with people on your frequency. People, and you need to see yourself like that and live on yourself. If you got somebody that's always, you know, messing up your frequency, you know what I'm saying? Get away from them. So you can so you can focus on. You're gonna feel a lot better, and you're gonna be able to manifest a lot better. Get away from people like that that's limiting your your manifestation abilities. You know what I'm saying? That's the main thing, too. Get away from it. And some of us don't want to cut these people off. You know what I'm saying? They won't want to cut them off. But you have to cut them off. You know what I'm saying? If you're truly trying to manifest uh, and you're trying to bring something to the existence and they not they don't believe in your, you know, they don't believe in your ability, you know what I'm saying, to manifest, you know what I'm saying? You have to get away from them because they're not going to do nothing to discourage you. And before you know it, you're going to have this doubt in your mind, that seed in your mind. And it takes you a minute to get that seed out your head anyway. From a religion uh, then told you that you don't, you're not God, you can't create. So you have to get away from them people like that because before you know it, you'll start to be able to reprogram yourself with some lies again, and then you don't, you 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 won't be able to tap into your God-given power. So if you're around people that that that, uh, that you know that they think they're limited beings, that's what I call them, limited beings. You know what I'm saying? They just ain't on your level. They can't even see you. You know that's how I look at it. I just get, I be get, I turn into a, 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 a spiritual gangster on them. You're not even on my level. You can't even see me. I'm a guy. You know what I'm saying? I, you just cut them off. You have to see yourself like that. We have to start seeing ourselves in a divine essence like that. You have to love yourself because you, you spiritually, you are like that. You are a guy you can create. They don't know yet. They can't even see you. So you have to just cut, cut them off. And you'll start, you'll start attracting other people that's on that same frequency. You know what I'm saying? You're not losing nothing. Every time you, you'll just start attracting people on that same frequency. You know what I'm saying? You have to look at yourself like that. You have to deal with other people. You don't need nobody trying to limit your ability to put you in boxes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't mess with anybody like that. I do not, and I won't allow anybody to, uh, to treat me like that. You know what I'm saying? If anybody come to me like that, limiting me, and start to put me in boxes or doubt my potential, you know what I'm saying? Because, you, know, I, I, you know, I just, I, if you doubt my potential, you know what I'm saying? I was born divine. This is this is, I know. When somebody come at you like that, just you should you know, you have to remind yourself who you are. And if they don't they can't get with that, you need to let them go. I get gangster with it. And it's that simple. You know, so know that you're a God, know that you can manifest, know this. You know what I'm saying? When you are sending out that energy, know that it's not gonna come back void. Live in that manifestation. Every moment, every mind. Do stuff that's in that moment, because I even when uh, uh, I'm not doing this, I'm blogging, I'm reading, I'm reading something about my manifestation. I'm reading something about my, uh, my, how I can create with my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm psyching myself up. You know what I'm saying? Every minute you can do this. You know what I'm saying? You are a God. I'm, I'm reaffirming this. You know what I'm saying? This is how you open up that God ability. You know what I'm saying? You'll start seeing that secret. You'll start seeing that synchronicity come in your life, and you'll be like, oh, my, you'll just be tripping. You know what I'm saying? It's like you live in a dream. It's like you live in a dream. That's the only way I can explain it. It's like you live in a dream. Uh, that's the only way I can explain it. So that it's, manifestation is just that easy. Uh, I, I thank y'all so much for uh, looking at, you know, watching this video. I hope this video was informative. Uh, light and love, and may the ancestors be with you.